This brother, this is so sad. His name is Al Copeland. The city of Boston has agreed to pay him $1.3 million. Here's why, here's why. He was having a stroke, he was having a stroke. He knew something was wrong, so he pulled over, he stopped driving. He wanted to make sure he was safe and everybody else around him on the road was safe. He's having a stroke, a cop pulls up. He doesn't think the guy's having a stroke, the man can barely talk. His words are slurred, so the cop says, "Oh my goodness, a black man on the side of the road, unable to respond, must be drunk, not a medical issue. So he takes him to jail. He then lies and says, "Oh, I smelled alcohol. The guy had not had a drink in years. But the cop lied to make his story fit why he was doing what he was doing. Takes him to jail, he's in jail for hours. Still having a stroke. He then starts vomiting. And somebody at the jail says, wow, wait a minute, we may need to get this poor guy to the hospital. So the cops agree, they say, yes, we're going to take him to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. They take him to the hospital. And you know what the cop says to the staff at the hospital? He's just drunk, he just needs to sleep it off. So the hospital, they let him wait for hours again. No medical attention because they took the word of the cops saying he's drunk. He's still having a damn stroke for hours. It adversely impacted his ability in many ways. Let's put up a picture of this young man, of this young brother, all right? The incident occurred two years ago, April 2019, when police officers found Copeland slumped in his car and barely conscious. Law enforcement claimed they smelled alcohol on Copeland, although the man had not had a drink in over 20 years. A number of errors were reportedly made in the events that followed, including the fact officers arrested Copeland instead of calling for medical assistance. That was part of the protocol that they violated. Once at the station, Copeland struggled to keep his balance, ultimately falling and injuring his head on a cell wall before throwing up. Documents say cops allegedly left him in the cell for five hours to, and I quote, sleep it off before calling an ambulance for him when he vomited. He was later transferred to Tufts Medical Center. Medical staff there accepted the cops assumption that Copeland was drunk and left him in the ER for seven hours. Then his wife came, Valerie, Valerie. Tracked him down. The man had a Valerie. Valerie started looking for her husband. The doctors finally determined that Copeland actually had suffered a stroke. The long delay between the onset of Copeland's symptoms and when he finally began receiving treatment for his stroke might have made the difference between permanent disability and a full recovery. In the aftermath of his delays, Copeland spent weeks in the hospital. He no longer could do routine tasks and ultimately had to quit his job with the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. The officers involved were disciplined, not for how they handled Copeland, but instead for not promptly responding after he hit his head. That is one of the saddest things we have seen in a very long time. This man is severely impacted. Now, the city has decided to pay a whopping 1.3 million. But I really think the medical facility needs to pay up also. All right, we, Adrian, what are your thoughts? 
Oh, you know what? This is just another example of forms of police misconduct, where we have officers claiming that they smelled alcohol when this man is having a stroke. Also, the implicit bias in assuming that if you have a black man slumped over, non responsive, that it must be some kind of drugs or alcohol or intoxicant as opposed to a medical issue. The fact is that Boston has a problem, it always has. And within the last 10 years, not including this settlement, it's paid at least $15 million in settlements for police misconduct cases. And now adding this one onto it, it just shows you that the problem is so much deeper. Yet what is Boston really gonna do about it? Yeah, and the you brought up something really interesting because it's a reality that I don't think is promoted enough. When we talk about bad cops, corrupt cops, negligent cops, biased cops, implicitly biased cops, hyper aggressive racist cops, these cops cost the city money. These cops cost the city money, taxpayer dollars. They are expensive, okay? A city full of taxpayers, they deserve better than throwing away their hard earned money on bad cops.